Number one, Laura. I have a nine month old who pretends he's pooping, squat and grunt really loud when he feels like I'm not giving him any attention. I wonder like where he learned that from, if he saw someone do that or he just realized, oh, if I make this sound, they're gonna come to my aid. That's hilarious. Okay, number two, Jessica. We were out of toilet paper in the downstairs restroom, so I asked my son to bring me down some. He brought about 10 sheets. I said, no, I need the entire roll. He came down the stairs with an entire roll completely unrolled in his arms. Man, I would not expect anything less. I can like picture it now, the whole mummy look where it's just wrapped all around them. Well, I guess at least you didn't specify if you wanted it rolled or not. You just wanted the entire roll. So there we go. Number three, Carissa. My two-year-old was a very good girl on a road trip recently, so I told her I would buy her a treat. She decided she wanted two small scented candles that she now sleeps with. That is hilarious. I... I love that. I mean, I think it's I think it's so funny because you would never expect, especially a two-year-old, to want candles instead of like candy or a stuffed animal or something like that. But hey, she's a girl through her own heart. I mean, hey, I love candles, but you know, it took me years to really love them. Um, that's hilarious. Number four, anonymous. I was sound asleep, and at around 6 a.m., I was woken up by my four-year-old daughter's face inches from mine. She looked right into my eyes and said, I want to peel all of your skin off. What? Okay, the backstory here is I had been sunburned the previous week and I was just starting to peel. In my sleep altered state, however, I was pretty terrified for a few seconds. I don't know if I was dreaming or what was going on. Okay, that is hilarious because the fact that your daughter just woke up at 6 a.m. and was like, I need to go tell her I want to peel her skin off. But that would be kind of startling at first to wake up and see your daughter's face like four inches from you. And just like, oh, four inches. I just made that up. Um, and see your daughter's face like inches from you saying she wants to peel your skin off. That That's scary. That's kind of scary. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. That's hilarious. Okay, number five. Kim. When I was little, my mom caught me bringing eggs from the kitchen into my room and sitting on them in a blanket nest, hoping they would hatch. That is so sweet. Oh my gosh. I remember in first grade, we had chickens. No, we had a ducks. Ducks. We had ducks. And I didn't understand that those were different than the eggs in our fridge. And we had a duck that hatched and his name was Sam and he'd follow us around. I always told my mom I wanted one. But I didn't realize that it was completely different. I thought that was the same thing. So I get it. I get it. Uh, number six, Kelly. Caught my daughter drinking strawberry milk and then spitting it back into the cup so she could drink it, I guess. That should come with a warning, like a trigger warning. I think I just gagged a little bit. Drinking the strawberry milk and spitting it back up so she could drink it again. She loved it that much. I'm not going to talk too much about it because that really crosses me out. Oh, gosh. Okay. Number seven, Teresa. When my son was three years old, I caught him washing his eyebrows with facial clen cleanser. Just his eyebrows. Wet, lather, rinse, repeat. He said it made them nice and soft. You know, that's a first. I've never heard of a little kid caring so much about washing their eyebrows. I don't even know if I tend to wash them like so detailed like that. Just themselves, I mean. He just must really care about his eyebrows. That's, <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay, number eight, Lynn. I walked into the kitchen one day to see my four-year-old son cleaning the counter with a piece of ham. A piece of ham. That's one way to do it, I mean. That your kitchen smells like a holiday or something. He then went over to the sink, washed off the piece of ham, and started to eat it. Hopefully the counter wasn't too dirty. But, I mean, he washed it off. So it, he was thinking ahead. He was like, okay, this ham, it's spongy. I could use it. I could help mom. I'll clean the counter. It's totally fine. But wait, that ham smells really good. And I'm kind of hungry. Okay, I'll just rinse it off and it'll be fine. I'll just eat it up. 
So he thought it through a little bit. Uh, that's good. Number nine. I'm noticing most of these stories are three and four year olds. So that might, that might, that might be the age of, of funny stories. We got a couple, we got a nine month and a two year old. Okay, number nine. Alexandra. My daughter who's five took a sip of juice from a straw, spit it into her hand, and proceeded to rub it into her hair like it was hair product or something, right after I'd given her a shower. Just why? <laughs> I mean, you know, she's thinking forward. She's She probably saw someone doing something with her hair, and she thought, you know what, this smells really good. I would like to smell like this all day. Maybe I'm giving her more credit than she actually put, thought she put into it, but you know, people put like mayonnaise in their hair to add more, uh, what is it, like condition their hair. So maybe juice does something to your hair too. And she could be thinking ahead for all of us. Who knows? I know when I was a kid, my sister and I put peanut butter on our face and we would pretend to do skincare commercials. And we'd be like, oh, we're just gonna put a little eye cream here. And I don't know where that came from because there wasn't like YouTube or, you know, tutorial videos like that. So I don't know where it came from. I just remember us being in the kitchen being like, oh yes, we're gonna put the cream here. And I was definitely old enough to know better. I was not like a five-year-old. I mean, maybe around there, but I think I was a little bit older. So I won't say how old, I, I don't know, but I definitely think I was older than five. All right, well, that that's all I've got for this week, guys. I loved reading your responses. We got, like I said, lots of good ones. And as always, we post these on our social media every Friday, new questions, new mom confessions, and so much more. It's just a fun way to get your take on motherhood. Like I said earlier, have some laughs. You know, sometimes in the moment, things seem so serious and so harsh and so like hard to deal with. But so a lot of the times those turn into core memories, things that we can laugh at, stories we can tell later. So maybe we can just have a little different perspective as things happen and not take some of these things so harshly and just kind of have a little laugh with our kids. 